I'm noticing a really clear similarity between <laughs> this book that I'm currently reading, The Courage to Be Happy, and the one that I just finished, Self-Compassion, and that is how much our society teaches everyone that you have to be extremely special and extremely standing out and totally like special in every way in order for you to like have permission to feel you are worthy and have value. We're here at this Cherry Blossom Park deal in Newark and I brought along with me a sign. I already told two people fishing that fish feel pain. They never say anything. For me, I know as a result of society being this way and kind of our education systems and our parents teaching this and beating this into us, I have been both at the same time someone who is extremely competitive and a sore loser who feels very resentful of people who beat me in things and self loathes when I don't win or be the best at things and wants to quit and give up if I'm not the best at things, but also at the same time being very critical of competition's existence itself and being like, why does competition even exist? It's fucking stupid. And look how it makes people feel. Friends circle again around the fire pit. And what are we making, Mom? We are making a mess. Making Vita, vegan chocolate, vegan marshmallows, smellies. Yes. Oh Those yeah. Vegan marshmallows. Oh yeah. Amanda. <laughs> really? Is a whore. And <laughs> and <laughs> and really. <laughs> doesn't wash <laughs> her <laughs> bush <laughs> bush yeah period just finished recording a episode for the stop the violence podcast about how to be happy in general but also particularly how to be happy as a vegan activist and i'm really happy with how it came out Cruelty free cheese enchiladas. That's gonna burn. That cows don't have to die for. What are we making? We're making some sweet potato brownies. No, I wish. Oh, did I say brownies? I meant burgers. Sometimes I mix up my B words. We got so potatoes, onion, bean. No, it's not. And I knew sweet potato and oats and spices. For example, why do we even have something like American Idol or any of those singing competition shows? I mean, art is subjective. Everyone has the right to create art. Everyone has the right to sing. You attract the people that are into it and you don't attract the people who are not into it. Like, why have we even made that into a competition? Like something that's supposed to be something everyone can do. Watching the buzz buzzes. Guys, just so you know, when you eat honey, you hurt bees like this. And we obviously need bees to survive ourselves. Watch Earthing Ed's video about why vegans don't eat honey to see what the fuck I'm talking about. 
eating honey hurts these guys. Watch that video to find out how. I will have it linked. You don't have to be good at singing to enjoy singing. Like it feels good to sing. And we, I mean, our society has made it so that you can only do things if you are, are like exceptional at them. And that's ridiculous. I'm obsessed with like this kind of stuff. Mist and fog. Look what we found at the thrift, well, what you found at the thrift store. $1.99 for this pillow. Yeah. $1.99 for this pillow. Oh, and they match our couch covers. Mm -hmm. How gotta cool. Get washed. And then this I just got because I was like, you know, we can kind of use it as a bolster. Oh, that's so nice. $2.99. Oh, that's so oh. nice. I found this. You know, I like my uh, cruelty-free handbags. Cool. This is another Vera Bradley. This will be a oh, nice wow. fall bag. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Nice, right? Mm-hmm. No need to buy new stuff if we don't have to, right? Found this jacket. Oh, that's so cool! Isn't that cute? Yeah. Cool. This one's kind of really tight. Oh, it's cute Ooh, though. It smells really bad. Work shirts so that you don't have to pay fast fashion. Work, work, work uh, whatchamacallit, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> There's another one. This one's wintery, of course. Nah, it looks like you really looked out. Yeah, I did pretty good. And I got this pair of work pants also. I don't know what I'm going to pair it with because, you know. That's really nice. Yeah, cute, right? It's just such a trap for unhappiness because there's always going to be somebody who's better at said activity or has a more striking and standout version of said trait. Gonna do another drawing of a artificially intelligence created picture from this person does not exist.com. Good for practice. I mean, proportions and the initial preliminary sketch are always the hardest thing. But this is what I have. At least for now, I'm not gonna pursue finishing this drawing, which means I should probably save this photo just in case. Pro tip for using this website, because every time you refresh, it's a different photo. Um, and I think I might just do maybe a smaller practice and try and get proportions down. I'm not really sure because I feel rusty with proportions. I actually haven't done an actual drawing of a human in about 10 months, which is wild to me. I guess I've just been drawing animals that whole time. So I just feel like I need practice. So I just did like a really quick attempt here at <laughs> this photo. I mean, no, there's not a literal, like, you're not good enough at this police horse going around telling people to stop playing guitar because there's people that are better and stuff, but you kind of do internalize this dynamic or whatever the word might be, and you stop yourself from doing it. I really would like to live in a world where people are neither praised nor rebuked and people aren't extremely overhyped and idealized and or idolized, not idealized, for having certain traits. That way we wouldn't have these, I don't know, celebrities or photo examples of what is the thing that gets praise to compare ourselves to and 
we could just see the value in everybody for just existing and things wouldn't be so much of a competition. a little later because I had some nightmares in the night and I lost sleep. Um, it's Tuesday so it would normally be a babysitting day but I don't have babysitting this week and I'm going to take advantage of my time and I'm loving the sunshine right now because it hasn't been sunny in two days. It was so rainy and it's a magical feeling. In conclusion, this really false limiting belief that is drilled into us from the society we live in and from our parents and from people around us results in us doing so much less of the things that make us happy like the art and the passions and pursuing the job our heart desires and you know whatever it may be so if we don't intervene and apply mindfulness it makes us be results and praise oriented rather than process oriented and doing it for the for just the joy of it you're doing it for the end result and the people applauding you Rather than because you enjoy the whole process of doing it and it brings you fulfillment and it puts you in flow state and puts you in the moment. Which is one of the biggest things that people always talk about when the topic of happiness is even brought up at all. So it's time for me to go grocery shopping. Got my grocery list. And on the back, I like to put a bunch of vegan information and I will leave it in the cart under that flappy thing to where just the first part of it shows 
And then I put it all the way back at the entrance of the store so that a worker doesn't find it. Shutton is going to meditate with me. And if we're always so damn self-critical and we're in our heads instead of in our hearts and we're not in the present moment anymore and we're too focused on that person over there being so much better than us or feelings of inadequacy, which is like the number one core root of any limiting belief is the feeling of not being good enough. It seems like we could solve a lot of issues by just getting rid of this idea that you're nothing unless you are extremely striking and stand out in whatever way. And this idea that of just praising and overly idolizing certain people like famous people or really talented people or good looking people or whatever. Maybe we could just treat everyone the same as equals and realize that everyone has the same value. No one's more important than anyone else. No one has any higher value than anyone else. I'm doing a little drawing of Dante Wright, look into what happened to him, it's absolutely tragic, and obviously not just. I had a hard time finding like a big photo of him and more than like a couple photos of him, but this is what I am going with and this is what I have so far. So I'm pretty hungry and I'm gonna come to quitting space for today. It's also important to remember that everyone has times and moments in their life where they do shine and where they are feeling awesome about themselves. But we look at these celebrities and we think, oh, they're like that all the time. And then that's just not reality. Like even their lives and everything is not always glamorous and doesn't always look glamorous and if we could just stop expecting us to be excelling 24 7 and then only being happy with ourselves when we do excel and just feeling like shit at all other times all other inevitable times and maybe if when we interact with people we could talk about more of our feelings and our thoughts and pay more attention to people's content of their character rather than certain traits they have or certain talents or certain successes they have, then we could also connect more authentically and stop overvaluing these things. Shitin knows me. the progress after the day two. Beach burgers! It's time for bed! Oh.
This video has been sponsored by America Wonder Blinds, the only blind company that will install your blinds for free, and there's a five-day warranty. Just look at the quality. This video is also sponsored by the Stop the Violence podcast, which is more up-to-date on Spotify than it is on this YouTube channel. But you can get it by subscribing to this YouTube channel, where you will also find road trip vlogs and more lovely vlogs just like the one that you just watched. If you have somehow made it through my entire vlog and you're not vegan, please search Earthling Ed on YouTube. His channel has everything you need to know.